Hassan used his face app to figure out what his Muslim fans look like without their hijab. <laughs> You think that's bad. This one might be mean. Mr. Hassan Piker, everybody. And he's here. Hassan, turn around. Oh. Yo, who the fuck is this? <laughs> All right, welcome everybody. As I said, we are here to roast my good friend Hassan Piker. Uh, I've gathered a group of streamers here. Uh, that will make you say, wow, will Twitch standards ever stop dropping? <laughs> Thank you. Um, Candyland is up first, ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce her. Candyland. It's going to be like ripping off. Hello, the yeah. everybody, and hello, Austin. <laughs> Another person I spent a lot of time with on Austin's shows is Cutie Cinderella. Ludwig once said that he loves when Cutie gives him the gawk gawk suction pump soul snatcher. <laughs> but it's not because she's good at head. No, it's just nice when she shuts the fuck up for five minutes. First of all, let's talk about your sense of style. The whole e-boy look is cool and all, but really, you're a decade too old to be dressing like that. Oh. What man in their 40s is dressing like a teenager selling yules in the school bathroom? Yules. But I found a shirt that looks like something you would actually wear. The muffin man? <laughs> I'll send you the link after the show if you're interested. Candyland is educated, and she's uh, living proof that um, just about anyone can get a degree if they fuck the professor. <laughs> All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we practiced laughing before the show. Can, <laughs> can we laugh? Mr. Yasuo. Hello, everyone. Um, it's very inspiring to be on the show today with a lot of self-made creators and Austin. <laughs> Sorry if I get a little nervous while I'm up here. Um, there are people attending that I really look up to and I have been watching for years. Shout out Sasha Gray, everybody. <laughs> Long blonde hair, beautiful eyes, and that damn cute smile. Will Neff is here, everybody. <laughs> Jake and Bake's girlfriend's named Water, okay. which answers the age old question. Water isn't wet. At least when... <laughs> it's hard to talk about Hassan and not mention his tiny skull. I do recall catching a little bit of your conversation, and uh, I heard you talking to Sasha a little bit before the show. When you asked her for a little head, is that what you meant? <laughs> Don't expose me like that. <laughs> Sasha Gray is an actress, musician, author, director, Twitch. Ah, oh, fuck it. We all know what she's famous for. Give it up for Sasha Gray! <laughs> Someone who grew up Catholic, I, I can confirm that you surround yourself with more young boys than my priest did. Oh, so, it's actually, <laughs> so it's 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 quite concerning. Jake and Bake, ah, oh, this is hard, man. I want to know. I I feel for you. What's happening? <laughs> it's sad to see how hard you've fallen, but um, the only you know, the only thing that's fallen harder is uh, uh you know, when uh. <clears throat> Ms. Kiff dropped that golf cart on his mod's arm. You guys know Hassan lives with his mother. It always catches me off guard how physically small your head actually is. But I mean, I hope your dick isn't built like you are. <laughs> you are to gaming what Tesla is to the internal combustion engine. So recently I've been doing... <laughs> that was too smart for us. I'd like to give it up for Hassan's good friend, Noel Miller! <laughs> Thank God you came instead of Cody. <laughs> I'm your fucking nightmare, I wanted, aren't I? I wanted to, I wanted to hear you. This is the only time I'm bigger than you, baby. I know. 
All right. Barely. Um, barely, yeah, barely. <laughs> Just keep him sitting. I want to thank you, Austin, for inviting me out to this glorified Russian cam girl house. <laughs> I say that because uh, 100 Thieves is used to watching their talent choke on camera. <laughs> It's a good thing I didn't go in on Sasha on that bit. Um, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Had I known you were gonna be here, now. Nah. Um, big legs, big shoulders, and big hands, which makes it uh, really nice when he wants to squeeze your stimulus check for a tier three sub. Uh, the only time this dude isn't Turkish is when Armenian girls send him nudes. <laughs> Hassan used his face app to figure out what his Muslim fans look like without their hijab. <laughs> you think that's bad. This one might be mean. Hassan is jealous of white people because it's acceptable for them to fuck their uncles. <laughs> no? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jake and Bake Live. I always had some feeling something that was a little bit off with you. Maybe it was just the fact that your vocal cords sound like they've taken more dicks than Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see QD Cinderella and uh, Candyland back on a Raj, uh, sorry, I mean Austin show. Um, <laughs> Honestly, the only thing that keeps you slightly relatable to your audience is the fact that uh, you have no credit, uh, you live with your mother, and your best friend looks like he sells weed to teenagers at 7-Eleven. But what a week you've had, Will. Saving a cat from traffic, it's not even a joke. He ran out in the middle of the 101 and saved a kitten. And that kitten is here with us today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's in the other room because... Uh, uh, never mind. I was going to make a joke. It would have been inappropriate. I didn't write that one down. Uh, <laughs> uh, something about pussy and Hassan being here. I don't know. Will Neff, everybody! It's always laughable when Austin says Hassan isn't his type because given half the chance, he would suck the Turkish off his dick. <laughs> Cutie does her makeup like she's trying to look like the last five minutes of a Sasha Gray video. <laughs> Sasha Gray's adult film was instrumental in my development. Not because it was the first porn I had ever seen, but rather because it was the first porn that made me stop and think, my God, that's someone's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I just roasted Hassan, so most of these are just shitty things about him as a human. And, and not really jokes. No! This is so mean. Twitch has destroyed Hassan's good looks. Every stream he does, he looks more like Steven Seagal. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Hassan is like family to me in that he has kicked me, his brother, and his mother out of his house to have sex with strippers. <laughs> That's not a joke. Is that true? Hassan is the cause of... Hassan is so cheap that I've seen him Uber pool girls home after sex. <laughs> Stavros is a nude Instagram model and responsible for answering the age-old question, is there any naked dude that won't turn me on? Who the fuck wrote this for me? <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't write this, I didn't read my, they knew I wasn't gonna read this before, that's bullshit. Give it up for Stavros, everybody. Hell yeah, thank you so much for having me. I'm stoked to be here. I think it was really brave of you to come out of the closet to deflect from the fact that you were doing brown face on this platform for years. So, kudos to you. You know, although to be honest, a lot of people say Austin's gay and I, I'm not sure Austin is actually gay. Gay men tend to dress well and be entertaining. <laughs> Our boy Hassan, oh, no. uh, he once jacked off using a basketball. You what? Side note, Austin just changed his name again. It's Spalding now. <laughs> <laughs> um,
Cutie Cinderella, you're very funny. I watched some of these roasts. You're really good at this. Uh, I even checked out your YouTube channel. And I have to say, your YouTube channel answers the question, what if a boring reality show had the production value of my mom's FaceTime calls? <laughs> Seriously, though, Cutie, you are very inspiring. I mean, if you're hot enough to have a career on Twitch, that is great news for divorced waitresses everywhere. <laughs> You know, cutie, if, if you're going to be an average looking blonde with no charisma and boring streams, the least you could do is have huge fake tits. Um, so speaking of which, Candyland, right? Uh, Candyland, I don't understand how you have a following. I mean, I guess your number one demographic is men who have not heard of pornography. Is that right? From what I can tell, Jake is a weeb. Uh, weeb, of course, standing for white, extremely effeminate bitch. <laughs> I don't know, man. Anytime a generic looking white guy moves to Asia to get pussy, I don't trust it, right? I mean, there's no way you're not a sex criminal. <laughs> Seriously, Jake went to China for college, uh, Japan to stream, and next he's going to Thailand to avoid extradition. <laughs> when COVID hit, that put a stop to your streaming temporarily, Jake, so maybe all the deaths were worth it. Uh, Sasha, I've seen you lick a toilet on camera, and this is still the most degrading thing you've ever done online. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe if I wear this choker with a lock on it, they won't realize I'm 30. <laughs> they'll, they'll realize, buddy. You dress like a guy who sex traffics TikTokers. <laughs> That's what you dress like, by the way. You're not that guy. Chat's always talking about how the roast shows bring out the old cutie Cinderella. I mean, just look at those wrinkles. We've definitely got the old cutie today. Now you oh. fucked up! Oh my God! Give it up for cutie Cinderella! And unlike a lot of content creators, you haven't used your newfound clout for sexual favors from your viewers. And that's because 19-year-old boys in your audience are still too old for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm unique because I'm the only woman on Twitch that hasn't tried to sleep with Hassan. It's true. Um, <laughs> even more unique because I'm the only woman that Ricegum hasn't sexually harassed. So. <laughs> Don't worry, Sasha, you are still so beautiful. If the meta goes from stepsis to step grandma, you could totally make a comeback. <laughs> Honestly, it's hard to roast Sasha and come up with anything new because she's already been spit roasted so many times. <laughs> Stavros has actually been really supportive with uh, my battle with bulimia. Um, he encourages me to throw up so he can eat it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know who the fuck Stavros is. Um, um, Stavros, I recently learned your podcast is called Come Town, which was a little confusing because that's what we call Candyland's house. So. <laughs> um, a surprising fact about Candy is she actually has a degree in computer science. When I asked what the hardest part was, she said her professor's dick. So. <laughs> Jake and Bake is here. <laughs> or as I like to call him, nobody fucking cares. <laughs> Hit 5k subs on Twitch, has a new post on LSF for every day, and with all that excitement, I wanted to ask you how you sleep at night, but I already know it's with a little of Hassan's leftover cum in your ass. So. <laughs> I'm the top. This guy has more sex with female streamers than all of Twitch staff combined. <laughs> Um, I don't know if any of you have noticed, but Hassan's laugh like, sounds like two donkeys fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also nice because it reminds him of his parents. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I've spent more time with Hassan these past few months than ever before, and I've been learning a lot lately. Like, one thing I learned the other day is he doesn't actually like seafood. Sorry, Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, he doesn't like loose vaginas either. Sorry, Will. <laughs> I also learned that he used to ride horses as a hobby, but he had to because the last time he got on a horse, it sent itself to the glue factory. <laughs> oh, this is true, my horse did die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, the tough thing about being famous on Twitch is getting dragged into all these beefs and drama like me and Bab City or Ludwig and Aiden Ross or Hassan in the World Trade Center. Oh, shit. <laughs> Give it up for Hassan Piker!
it's awesome to see how progressive and accepting America has gotten over the years when it comes to LGBTQ plus rights. But uh, when I see how horny Austin publicly gets now, I sometimes think maybe it's not so awesome. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't be as accepting. <laughs> Star Rose is one of the hosts of a podcast called Come Town, for those of you who don't know. Uh, the favorite podcast for homeschooled school shooters. <laughs> oh my God. Meanwhile, Star Rose is still testing his material at Applebee's Open Mic Night. <laughs> or something worse than Applebee's Open Mic Night, The Austin Show. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> um, Sasha is a legend in her field, and I'm truly honored to stand by her today. Um, she's a living, breathing testament that you don't have to be in a hot tub to succeed on Twitch. You just have to do a fuckload more beforehand, and then, you know. Anyway, I've been uh, really enjoying the car streams recently. I do worry about your driving sometimes, though. You drive a little too fast from time to time. I'm pretty sure a car wreck is probably a violation of the uh, terms of service, but uh, you don't have to worry about that since no one will be watching to report it. <laughs> I'm actually proud of Jake. Jake follows the time-honored tradition of white people who failed to colonize China and settled at stealing their women. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Uh, imagine going from a life-ending addiction like League to online gambling. <laughs> at this rate, next year, Yasuo will be streaming heroin. <laughs> Unlike Candyland, who gave up trying the moment she realized she could just be hot and people will give her money. If I, <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry. If I go any harder on Candyland, people will c cancel me for being ableist. <laughs> oh. oh no! But yeah, thank you guys for coming. This was a wonderful experience. Give it up for the sun. And I uh, want to thank you guys all for hanging out. That's it from uh, from here. Have a wonderful day, everybody. We'll see you over at Countdown. Thank you. Let's go. Huh? Back in the middle.